Something to think about the next time you're out there fishing a spinnerbait. I never, ever, ever throw a spinnerbait without a trailer hook, you know, for obvious reasons. A short strike and you'll lose fish and they really don't snag that much extra cover when you're fishing grass or even wood sometimes. But there are two types of different trailer hooks that you can use on a, on a spinnerbait. They have some that are free swinging that articulate back and forth like that and they also have some with like some heat shrink around the eyes they're kind of ready to go that you get them right out of the package and put them right on your spinnerbait hook and you don't have to do put any tubing or anything on them i'm not a big fan of the latter i like a free swinging trailer that articulates back and forth and i say that because if a big old bass comes at this spinnerbait from the side and it misses it a lot of times they'll come back a second time. They'll, they'll roll on it, then come back and eat it. Well, if it rolls on it and kicks that heat shrink type trailer, that's kind of a, a more affixed to the hook bin, if it kicks it to the side, it'll stay to the side sometimes. So then it's totally out of position for a follow-up strike, for the kill shot. So instead, what I like to do, I get trailer hooks and rubber tubing separately. So this trailer hook here, as you can see, it's got a much bigger eye eyelet than most hooks you use. And that's of course, so it can go over the barb and over the shank of your existing hook. And then what I'll do, I'll cut a tiny little sliver of rubber tubing. And so after I put the trailer hook on there, I'll hook that rubber tubing right there in the middle. And all that acts is, is a stopper. So it's not gonna come back over that barb, but it allows it to swing and move depending on how the fish bites it.